Hello everyone. Welcome to my software coding tutorial channel. My name is Tommy and today's lesson is uh, I will demonstrate to you how to create a simple calculator in C Sharp that uses the following C++ library with the available functions add, subtract, multiply, divide, and power. And it also uses the C Sharp stack class which is doing the last in first out. Uh, the calculator is pretty basic and you have the numbers including the five operations and clear and all. So hopefully you enjoy this uh, great video and stay tuned. Okay so first thing first we need to create a uh, C++ DLL that can be used by the C-sharp calculator. So we're going to go and create a new file here called math underscore lib dot h. Okay, so in this dot uh, h file, we're going to declare if and define math underscore lib h define math lib underscore h include the following string include IO stream for standard input output include C standard lib include C standard input output include C math okay I spelled it here. Then declare using namespace standard. Then uh, declare if define underscore underscore C plus plus extern C and n if then we create our build variable if define build my DOL define shared lib underscore underscore de de declare spec DOL export else define share lib declare spec DOL import and if uh, then we uh, create those uh, five functions so double shared lib add uh, double a double b and then uh, double shared lib subtract double A double B uh, and then uh, multiply so double shared uh, multiply double B I'm sorry double A double B and then we're gonna create the divide function shared lib divide double a double b and let me correct this for a second it should be shared okay and then the last function will be a, a power function so double shared power so double a double b okay and then we declare if define C plus plus then close the curly bracket okay and then and if and that will be the end of our DOL okay 
so pretty much you know we could have done this in C sharp but um, I just want to show you or demonstrate to you that you can actually create a um, pretty powerful um, library that's in C++ and then it can be used in C sharp especially in a calculator program like what I'm going to show you okay okay next we're going to create the math dot I'm sorry math uh, lib dot cpp so click on new file math lib dot cpp and I'm gonna go ahead and include math lib dot h and then I'm gonna type in uh, implement the following function double add double a double b so this is just basically return a plus b and I'm gonna do double subtract double a double b and then return a minus b I'm gonna go ahead and uh, create double I'm sorry multiply function so double multiply double a comma double b and it's gonna return a times b and I'm gonna go ahead and um, create divide function so double divide double a double b return a divided by b and the last function is a power function so type in double power double a double b and return pow so this is a specific um, C++ function that uh, raises the, the uh, a to the power of b and then and then just go ahead and save okay so that completes our math lib.cpp next we're going to create our build.batch file so click on this and new file and type in bill dot bat so this batch file will create our DLL for the math library so type in c plus plus dash c dash d and then enter our build option which we declared it in the library so this is going to be build um, my DLL so type uh, control v build my DLL math underscore lib dot cpp okay next we type in g plus plus dash shared dash o math lib dot dol math lib dot o dash capital w lowercase l comma dash dash out imp lib lib math lib dot a okay and then save and that will complete our build dot batch file next let's build our library using the build dot batch file so click on um, terminal in visual studio code and a new terminal then I can type in dir to list the directory so I'm going to cd to math underscore lib okay and let's move this up so you can see it okay and then do dir the list directory and you can see that uh, all the files are here and I'm going to go ahead and uh, type in um, I'm going to do a clear and type in bill.bat to build our DOL and type dir again and you can see that there are uh, there is this math underscore lib dot dol that we just created
Okay, let's open up Visual Studio and create a new project. And we want to select WinForm app. And then click on next. Then I'm going to call this uh, C sharp calculator. And click on next, create. Okay, so let's create a few buttons on our win form. So I'm going to go and resize this form first of all to make it smaller. Then I'm going to drop a button and then we'll rename this button. So this is going to be button 7. And down here we need to look for the name. So let's call this guy button 7. Okay. And we can just go ahead and do um, just resize it. And then uh, copy. And then control V to paste. And so call this button uh, 8. So button 8 and then the text should say 8 as well. And let's copy again. And call this button 9. Now I'm going to go and create the uh, decimal button. So I'm going to just copy button 0 and make this a decimal. So we call this button decimal. And then go up and change the text to dot. Next, we're going to create the operator button. So, I'm going to copy this button here. Control V. So, the our first button will be operator would be plus. Okay, and down here we're going to rename it to say button plus. copy and this will be subtraction <coughs> so name this button subtract button minus and when we're going to change this to minus sign copy 
copy and paste this will be multiply then down here will be button multiply copy this will be button divide and change symbol to divide then the last operator would be power so let's do uh, control copy control paste and this will be power and then down here rename this to button power then we need a clear button and also equal button so we're gonna copy this and this us this allow us to clear um, our information on the screen so we're going to call this button clear and we're going to change the text to a capital C okay then the next button will be equal so change this to an equal and then name the button to button equal Okay, so that's basically pretty much all for, for all the buttons that we need to create. Then I'll show you the next step. Okay, so next we're going to create the display panel. So we're going to choose a text box here and drag it up here and then stretch it out. And we can make it bigger. Um, so I'm going to call this text box text display okay and then we want to change the color uh, so change the background to something like uh, grayish okay Okay, so to make it uh, the text bigger, we just need to change the font size. So here, I'm gonna change the font to size 12, right? Regular, or I can use bold. I will just change it to 12, so it looks a little bit bigger. Next, I want to make sure that this guy is read only. So uh, go down here and make sure that the read only is set to true and then save the form and meanwhile we're at here um, we're gonna go ahead and change this to say basic calculator okay so you can see the text has changed here and I'll, I'll just keep the form name to be form1 okay so let's compact our form and make it small, smaller okay and then save then we're gonna go ahead and um, go ahead and and go into our form and start making modifications so the first thing we want to do is um, we need to locate where the library uh, our C++ library right so it's going to be constant 
uh, so declare a constant string DOL file equal to C colon users administrator source repos math lib math lib dol okay so we can locate that pretty easily um, so our math lib is located here right so let's double check to make sure that um, nothing is misspelled here administrator okay and the DOL is located here so next we're gonna declare uh, using system runtime interrupt services so this allow us to um, load the C++ unmanaged DOLs okay so right after the constant string DOL file we're gonna declare DOL import DOL file calling convention equal to calling convention um, dot C declare and we're gonna type public static extern double add double A double B and then save next I'll go ahead and, and do for the rest of the other function so I'm gonna go ahead and um, copy this and I'm gonna go control V and I'm gonna use I'm gonna type subtract so this is basically subtract function control V again and this will be for multiply control V again and this will be for the divide function control V again and this will be for the power function and then save okay so next I'm gonna declare a couple of variables so we're gonna declare string sign equal empty string double previous value equal to zero string previous sign equal empty string and then bool boolean clear equal to false bool empty equal to false okay and I'm gonna go and create the stack so stack double okay and then just save okay so next let's go to our form design and we're gonna go ahead and click on button clear click so when we clear um, we, when we press the clear button it's gonna clear the text so what I want to do is create a few functions here so the first function will be uh, private void clear text so that will set the text display equal to zero 
and then um, gonna create another function called private void empty text and that basically sets the text to an empty string okay and uh, so when you click on the clear button it's gonna go and um, and do a clear text and then set the boolean empty equal to true okay and then go ahead and save it okay so next let's go back to our constructor which is form one we're gonna go ahead and type clear text and set our boolean empty equal to true and also create our stack which we declare up here earlier so stack equal to new stack double right and that should initialize our stack in the constructor and then go ahead and save it next I'll go ahead and create another function called clear and empty field so private void clear and empty field and in this um, method I'm gonna go declare if if clear boolean clear then we do a clear text okay and then set the boolean clear to false okay let me move this down so you can see it if boolean empty then go ahead and um, do an empty text and set um, empty boolean empty equal to false and go ahead and save it so next let's go to our form and start with button 7 double click into it and it's gonna take us to uh, button underscore click function so here we're gonna type in clear and empty field and then text display uh, text equal to okay one right so we're gonna keep on appending one to our field text display field and then control set s to save then go back to the form and we're going to do that for button um, button 8 click so let's move this up here okay so we do the same thing so I'm going to copy from button uh, 7 click copy that control V and I'm gonna change this to button sorry this is should be um, 8 and the other one should be 7 so when you type in uh, when you click on 7 it should append 7 and you when you click on button 8 it should append 8 okay and I'm gonna do for the next um, several buttons and so let's control s to save it
And so that's the last of our button. Next, let's go to our form designer and click on button decimal. So in button decimal, we want to go and clear an empty field first. And we're going to put a condition here. If text display dot text text display dot text length minus one is not equal to uh, that's a dot a period then we go ahead and text display dot text plus equal to dot okay so yeah we don't want to keep on appending the period or the decimal if uh, the period already exists and then go ahead and save okay so next let's go to our form designer and click on the operator so I'm going to go ahead and click on the plus symbol and here I'm going to type in sign equal to plus and then set the empty equal to true and we put a condition if stack count equal to zero then we're going to push it to the stack so stack push convert to double text display dot text and then we're gonna go ahead and clear set the clear to true okay and then control save control s to save okay so I'm gonna go ahead and do for the other button so um, click on button minus copy this code from the top control V and then I'm just going to change the uh, plus the minus multiply do the same thing and then save okay so I'm going to go ahead and do that for the uh, divide and power operator. So I'm gonna click on divide symbol. I'm gonna copy um, control paste and change the sign to divide. Click on power, control V, and change this to power and then save. Okay, next we're gonna create a function called display value. So type private void display value and <clears throat> what this is gonna do is gonna do a conversion to string and it's gonna set that in our uh, display text display panel and then go ahead and control s to save okay so next let's go to our form designer and click on the equal operator and here this is where we're going to implement the code so uh, declare double v equal zero dot zero if previous sign is not equal to empty string and sign is equal to empty string then we go ahead and do a switch switch sign then we say case plus okay 
and we're gonna do a stack push stack push previous value equal to convert to double text display dot text okay and if stack count is greater than one then we say double a equal stack pop double b equal stack pop and we're gonna do an add b plus a and then display text I'm sorry display value so we're gonna refresh the the uh, display with the new value then we're gonna go ahead and reset the sign and set sign equal to empty string and then break okay down here we're gonna implement pretty much the same thing so I'll, I'll show you the rest okay so let's copy this same block of code here and then um, control V so change this plus sign to a negative um, pretty much instead of add we're going to do a subtract okay and I'll do the rest basically for um, the multiplication multiplication and division so I'm going to go with control V and change the sign to um, multiplication sign then here we say multiply okay and pretty much the same code for divide we're gonna do the same thing control V change the plus to a divide then here we type in divide okay and then go ahead and control s to save and for the power um, let me go ahead and um, control V change the plus sign to a power a carrot and here we say um, power okay and then save and uh, before we save we want to say default and just say break okay and that's pretty much um, the first part of this code we have an else statement down here that we need to implement okay so let's implement the else part of our routine so here I'm gonna say switch the previous sign and then case plus say double a equal convert to double text display dot text and then we say v equal add a the previous value and then display value and then break okay and then go ahead and control s to save and we're gonna repeat this for the other four uh, operation okay so I'm just gonna go ahead and copy this block of code 
Control V. Change the plus to minus, and type in subtract. Control V. Change the plus to star, and then multiply. Control V. Change the plus to the divide. And then control V. Change the plus to a carrot. Power symbol. So type in power. Okay, control S. And that should complete our implementation for um, this function called button equal click. Okay, so let's build our app. But before we want to do that, make sure we check our configuration manager and make sure that we um, build it using x64, not any CPU. Okay, and then close. Then make sure to save it. Then do a build solution. Okay, then then un click on start. Then just test the basic functionality. So let's say we have 45.2 uh, plus uh, 0 0.75 and you should see it it adds up 45.95 and then let's say multiply that by 2 and it's 91.9 .9. and if you keep on it click on the equal sign you can see that it does the same operation which is what we expected so you can see here if I do 2 plus 3 equal 5 you keep on click on equal sign and you can see it's incrementing okay you multiply by 2 that's a hundred but you can see that it's also incrementing right so this is a pretty long tutorial but it's also a good tutorial to show you that you can actually um, C Sharp can interface with C++ and uh, there's a lot of great things here Okay, and last but not least I can check the power function right to see if it works 2 to the third is what? 8 you can see that it's keep on going again okay, and then infinity okay so uh, thank you all for um, watching this great tutorial if you like this tutorial please remember to press like and subscribe uh, to help me out here with my channel uh, really appreciate it